Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is Helton's Computer Repair here with another video for you. On this video, we're going to be showing you how to pretty much run a program called, well, download and run a file called Windows Update Blocker. Pretty much what it does, it disables pretty much Windows updates. Let's say if a new edition of Windows 10 comes out and it has problems and bugs and issues like that, and you don't want your computer to currently get that system, then we understand. Or let's say for a system you have a program called like Deep Freeze or something like that, and you don't want Windows to constantly get in that stupid update, turn that Windows updates there, restart your computer and everything's back to normal again, and keep prompting you that again after again after again, then we understand. So this pretty much what it'll do is block it for you. But before we get into this, if you want to help us out, then hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification so you won't miss our next video. And for the rest, let's go ahead and get started. So first thing you do is pretty much simple. We're going to go ahead and open up a browser. I'm going to go ahead and open up Google Chrome. And once you get to there on the search bar on the top, all you have to do is go to google.com. Technically I can give you their official site, but instead I'm just going to go ahead and just search it for you. And what we're going to look for is called Windows Update Blocker. And the site that you should see is from here called sodom.org. It's Windows Update Blocker version 1.6. And technically this will change over time. I remember when the first version called 1.0 came out and I've been using it since with no problems at all. It tells into more details that you can do customizations and services like that. And what it, pretty much what I do is pretty much just run the disable updates and protect um, services settings. And I'll show you that and I'll be showing you 200 settings that they will be disabled in a bit. So what it is an example, we go to start. I'm going to go ahead and type in services.msc. You're pretty much going to notice that there is a big files. And don't mess with these if you don't know what you're doing. And you're going to see a file called Windows Updates and it's constantly running. And another one underneath is usually called the Medic Services too. Um, they're both files that are needed for Windows Updates and it's sometimes pain in the butt that causes problems. So yours might automatically be called automatic, but this one said on manual. I might already mess with it before but regardless you get the concept of what it is and it goes into more stuff that you can edit and say on there I do not recommend to mess with it if you don't know what you're doing just simply just run this program but regardless you come to their site and all you have to do is scroll down be careful when you see these things it's not going to be the download for this ad right here it could just be a big wonderful wind zip driver ad that you're seeing what you're going to do is scroll all the way down to the bottom and you'll see the file called download from there go ahead and select it and I'll take a few seconds and the file should come up And here it is. It's pretty much, it says it should appear right now. If not, it should start automatically. Pretty much, if it doesn't, you'll have to click it again. Here it is. Pretty much a zip folder opened up. And there's the program. Now I can pretty much go ahead and open up this folder if I need to by selecting it. If it comes to a point, if technically, if it, we don't need this anymore, if you got saved somewhere else, you would have to find that location. Mine's underneath downloads. And here's the file. I'm going to go ahead and change this view to a little bit bigger so we can see it. There's the zip folder that got created. I'm going to go ahead and select the extract and where it says compress folder tools. And we're going to go ahead and extract all. And I'm going to go ahead and leave it as the name, pretty much as wub, WB. And let it do its work. And here it is. Created a folder in a folder. And here's the file that's right there. If your computer is a 32 bit, then you'll choose this version. If it's a 64 bit, you'll choose the 64 version, pretty much. To find out, pretty much you can go open up Explorer. So, an example, if you're not here, you'll open up Explorer on the bottom. And you'll go to this PC and you'll right click on it and select properties. And you see my computer says that mine is a 64 bit operating system. So that's pretty much how this will work. So here I am going back to the same place. Here's the file that came up. Here's the folder. And here's the one that's called WB underscore X64. That's the one I'm going to choose. And I'm going to go ahead and open that file. You can pretty, pretty much click it too. And you're going to get this pop up and it tells you if you don't want to follow this, that it's unrecognized, then you will probably press don't run. Actually select the more info and select run anyway. From there you'll pretty much be prompted. Go ahead and press yes. And then this is what it shows right now that technically you have enabled for Windows updates. That means that services on Windows updates is there right now. What I'm going to do is go ahead and press disable. And sometimes it does not check. Go ahead if you need to. I would recommend you check it. And select apply now. And it says please wait. And now it says services status that it has an X on it. So pretty much as it says, service has disabled and protected from Windows updates. So now we go ahead and just X this out. We can go to start right here. And we're going to go ahead and type in services.msc. And here we are. And we're going to scroll down until we see Windows updates. And here's Windows updates being disabled. And that one's disabled too right there. Now if I'm correct, I can't really start it. It's telling us no. If I go to properties. 
it's not allowing me to let's see if I can automatically re-enable it. It says access denied. So it pretty much pretty much blocked it from that program. If it does come a point that you do want to update and you do want to get Windows updates for it to be done, all you have to do is download that file again, or if not, just find the little file that you've automatically had, select it, come to it, and again I'm choosing the 64 bit for, based on mine. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just open it. You can pretty much again I'm as you know as I'm right clicking, I have a habit of that. What you can do is pretty much double click to and I'll do the same thing. And you see it's pretty much here. I'll just press enable, press apply now, and give it a second. I can X this out and let me go to services.msc. And Windows updates might automatically be up depending on might need to restart the computer, but we'll see when it gets here. And right now, Windows updates and Windows updates medics are both running, so pretty much it's back up to its state. And that's pretty much it. If you want to help us out and considering of buying a purchase of a t-shirt, that would be great. If not, I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. If you dislike this video, then hit that button. But if you like it and you want to see more, hit that like button. Get subscribed, comment, and tell us what other tech videos you want to see. Consider checking out our merch store. Link in the video description. And for the rest, I will see you on the next video.